32 FRET Canyon Trail here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, these have a, a lot of feature and a lot of value in this price point. Uh, a lot of times when you fall into this category of trailer, um, it, uh, you can get some stuff that's not necessarily equal. Um, you know, you won't find things with this level of, you know, window coverage. Uh, you'll tend to find things with smaller awnings. This has a fully forced air heated enclosed insulated underbelly. They even insulate the frame rails. You see the size of the baggage door that they give you here. And this baggage door itself is insulated. You can see the thickness of it there. If this wasn't insulated, this is basically right below your bedroom and bathroom. So your entire upper deck would freeze and get cold. It's, it's a corner that they don't cut. Um, extra little bonuses they put even in your underbelly storage. This is areas that most people don't even look when they buy RVs. Um, you see the pegboard here allows for all kinds of customizable storage solutions. Um, outdoors, they mount this nice flat screen mount right here. So you can have, uh, you know, indoor, outdoor entertainment. And combined with that, your stereo speakers are right down here where they belong instead of up high on the trailer. Most manufacturers tend to mount them up here. Problem with that is you have to turn them up really loud to even hear them. Now, not only does this have a huge pass-through storage, but the attention to detail down here is just phenomenal. You notice how you see no exposed wood. Everything is aluminum. Um, everything is insulated. You know they're using the uh, thermal foil insulation here to uh, add a, uh, a level of insulation to this area that normally is not found. Even adding forced air heat ducting down here in the underbelly. Now, another fun thing about their front pass-through storage is this convertible bulkhead wall. If you want more compartmentalized, you can fold that up. If you want more room, you can fold that down. This can work either way. Really cool thing with their nose cap. Uh, the way it's kind of cut away on the corners, this does make it a little more short bed friendly. So if you're not super excited about investing into a, you know, a, a bigger, more expensive slider hitch, you don't need to. It's just not an issue. Now you'll notice even above the wardrobe slide, they added a second drip rail here with full extension um, drip rails or uh, spouts rather. That's it's really cool. Most people don't even add that uh, above the um, second slide, and uh, you know they, they do an excellent job of making sure this thing looks great. You see that all of your baggage doors here, your primary baggage doors, are slam latch and they're just that easy. They're one hand operational. Um, your aluminum wheels, I believe are standard on this. If they're not, we've never ordered one without it. Um, you know, everyone knows that shiny makes it look faster. <laughs> the, uh, even the uh, rear ladder on here is, is, has a, a cool feature. I've, I've not seen on anything else really, and especially in this price point. You see these hinges right here. This ladder can fold up out of the way leaving this entire wall open. So if you want to add something like a bike rack, this is the trailer to do it with because you won't have to fight with that uh, ladder in the back there. And uh, I'm kind of the tech nerd um, here at Halitz. And scientifically speaking, this thing has about a billion windows. It, <laughs> it adds so much light in the living room. It's awesome. It is. I'm actually kind of dodging raindrops right now. It's been raining all morning. I zipped out here real quick as soon as I saw this one come in. It's even drizzling right now. I'm uh, holding my one hand over the camera to keep it from getting wet, but even with that being said, it is still pretty darn bright and comfortable in here. Even on a dreary overcast day, if you were dry camping, you wouldn't have to kill your battery to run this coach. Now quick note, um, things like the color of the fabrics and whatnot, we order a ton of these, we sell a bunch of these. Um, this video is here for informational purposes, so if it looks a little different from the pictures, don't get alarmed. Generally, the pictures are up to date, and the video is here as you know, as almost an educated, like guided tour. Speaking of your furniture, this is True Lane Brand Furniture. That's a name that you know from uh, household fixtures. Um, far better quality than what you find in a lot of RVs. And things like your recliners here, the mechanical um, actuator in this actually has a lifetime warranty from Lane in it. Uh, regarding the television, you see that there's no, uh, not one back here. Typically, what we've found with these Canyon Trails is it is literally cheaper to go to like Walmart or Best Buy to pick up a flat screen TV as compared to um, having one included from the factory in this coach. Sounds funny, but some of these big box stores sell electronics so dirt cheap now that that is the best way for you to go. 
Um, below that is the uh, electric fireplace. You can keep this unit uh, pretty comfortably heated in most scenarios without ever turning on your propane furnace. Although I will tell you, if it's super cold, don't run that electric heater because uh, it doesn't uh, force the hair, uh, hot air into your underbelly. Only your uh, propane furnace does that. Stereo here, uh, naturally all-in-one CD, DVD, stereo with outdoor speakers. Um, quite often, we will order that elite unit there with Bluetooth capability. But again, that's one of those things that may depend on just equipment availability at the time and uh, just different pricing options. Now, you notice this table's kind of cockeyed. That's not an accident. Um, they have a really, really cool dinette in these. Uh, it can turn different ways. So if uh, you want to set two chairs out and kind of really have a scenic view, you can uh, turn it sideways and do that. It also slides each way. So if you're uh, a little bit bigger person like me, you know, I have, I have a smaller wife, I can kind of cheat the table a little bit. Um, now this is something I was really impressed with. In general, you know, like in the underbelly, they've really put some amazing attention to detail in this coach where no one's going to look. And this is another perfect example. Little extra fixtures like this, typically, no one really pays attention to them. You would probably not be surprised if it was made of particle board and then someone put a nice sticker paper on it. That's not the case here. This is all real hardwood. You can see the grain in the wood. This is all pocket screwed. This is residential grade. This stuff, that costs money. And, uh, you know, particle board, press board, you probably wouldn't be surprised or offended if you saw it here. But the fact that they're using quality woodwork on extra fixtures is something you should really consider to get an idea of the kind of, uh, you know, fit and finish they're really putting into these. Um, I love all the color of the wood. I like, I like rich colored wood. Wood is warm. You know, a lot of trailers right now are being built very, very cold and impersonal, and I like things like this. I also like, they give you big, usable drawers. I see a lot of trailers, that they'll try to shove four small drawers here and say, no, we have four drawers, they only have three. Who cares if they're too small to put anything into them? And again, we're talking real wood construction on this kind of stuff. They're putting good quality material even where you cannot see it. And anytime you have a wraparound countertop like this, you have, uh, you know, more countertop space and there is quite a bit of storage under it as well. And notice, normally you get a big sink and a little sink. You get two big sinks in here and you still get the handy residential pull-out style uh, sprayer faucet. Uh, if uh, some grandkids or the neighbor's kids come over, all of your important bells and whistles and switches are hidden away up here so they can't get to them and accidentally, say, turn your water heater on when you're dry camping and burn up your element. And uh, even though this is only two steps instead of three, they are actually pretty gently uh, inclined steps, so it's not real hard to get in there. Uh, moving up to the bedroom, the uh, you'll see that your central air and heat vents come even up here. Now everything again continues with a very nice look. This is a uh, just an extra storage closet. This is a wardrobe closet that you have up here. This is your second slide out and it is just pure storage. And now uh, traditionally the only trick with a wardrobe slide like this is you lose the window on this side of the bed. But that's why they spent a little extra money and put mirrors on all those doors. So whatever light comes through that window gets reflected through this room and you get twice the use out of it. That's a trick that even the Egyptians knew how to use. Um, moving on to the bathroom facility here. There's actually even a couple good things to talk about even in the bathroom. First of all, a grown adult actually has the standing room to get dressed in here. It's shocking how many of these fifth wheels, if you've never owned one, pretend you're getting dressed. You're going to hit your head on the counters, on the shower. You have to take your clothes to the living room of a lot of uh, fifth wheels in this category to even get dressed. You don't run into that here. You see that we have a skylight and a power vent. A lot of times you only tend to get a power vent um, and they might sort of cheat and put it above the uh, shower. Now uh, this is a porcelain stool, not a plastic stool. You see it's foot flush. You can keep your face away from your business. And that's all well and good. You can find those features elsewhere, but this is something I love. They have a floor to ceiling linen cabinet here in the bathroom. And I would really encourage you to pay attention to that and start looking around. It is shocking how many bigger, higher dollar fifth wheels than this don't have any place to put a towel in the shower. It's, it just makes no sense to me. You can tell there's a difference between 
this is built by someone that goes RVing versus an engineer who can lay out a schematic because it's those usability features and those hidden items that you don't see that improve your experience over time that really set this one apart for me. Um, give us a call. Learn a little more at 800 256 Pardon me. 80, uh, 5196. Let me try that again. 800 256 5196. As you can see, I don't script things. I just talk about what I see as I see it, and I like to share stories with you. So um, don't hesitate to give us a call. We have full financing, parts, accessories, stores, hitching, braking. We can do everything in one stop and make it really fun and easy for you. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.